Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create these brushes in Illustrator. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to create one lipid. So I'm going to use the shape tool set to ellipse and press shift as I click and drag to create a circle. I'm going to give the stroke of the circle a little bit more thickness and also some color. Let's try with blue. I'm going to copy the code of this color so that I can have a similar fill. Paste the code here and then I can have a similar color here. You can use whatever colors you like for this one by the way. Now that I have the head of the lipid I'm going to create the tails using the pen tool. By pressing shift I can get a straight line and I'm going to make it thicker and select the round cap ends. I'm going to move it here to see what it looks like as I work and delete the fill because we don't need it for this one. I'm going to actually give it a different color. Okay, I like this one. Now let's make this wobbly. We go to Effect up here in the menu, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. And you can see already a little bit of zigzag here in this line. Using the size and ridges per segment sliders, you can choose how wide they are and how many of them there are. I'm going to adjust it until I'm happy. I think I liked it in the beginning. Maybe something like this. And I'm going to choose the smooth option. Okay, that looks good to me. Make sure you are happy with how it looks before you press OK, otherwise you'll have to do this step again. Click OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to press Alt, click, shift and drag to make a copy and drag it in a straight line. Now select the two of them, right click, arrange and send to back. And now you have your lipid. Select all of it, right click and group it. And now we have our basic unit for the brush. I'm going to put this one here to the side. I always I like to have a backup just in case and I'm going to make a copy again with Alt and make it tiny. I'm making it really small because the size of the basic unit of the brush will affect the width that we're able to use later with the brush. So now that I have this group selected, I'm going to go here to the brushes panel. If it doesn't show here, you can go to window brushes. And here in this box, you might not see it because my camera is in the way, but you will see a little plus icon in the lower right corner that says new brush. And from this window, select pattern brush. I'm not going to go into all the settings, but here I like to select a space to fit. I don't usually use these, but feel free to experiment if you want to. And now click OK. And now let's try the brush with the pen tool. I'm going to create a curve and select the brush that we have just created. And there you go. We have a beautiful curve of lipids. We can even add new points to the curve and modify it as much as we want. And we can also make more complex shapes like circles with the same brush. To modify the size of the lipids, you can play with the weight here of the stroke. And on weight 1, the lipids in your shapes will have the same size as the original lipid that you created. That's why the size of this one is important. And I'm going to show you one more thing that we can do with this brush. I'm going to make a copy and create a new layer. Maybe you want to create a bilayer brush. So I'm going to create a copy of this lipid with Alt, rotate it, and by pressing Shift, I'm able to rotate it in increments like this. 
I'm going to adjust the position a little bit and again make a group. And now same thing that I did before. I can go to the brushes panel and select new brush. Pattern brush, add space to fit, click OK. And now hopefully I have a bilayer brush. Maybe this one should have been smaller, but you can always adjust the weight of the stroke. And same as before, you can use this brush also on complex shapes. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. And if you found this useful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this.